What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to share how you can get more organic and interesting looking lighting in Blender using IES files that you can download online. IES files describe how light from a lamp is distributed in a room, and by using them you can more realistically simulate real-world lighting based on specific light source data. Before we open up Blender, first you'll need to find an IES file of your choice. I recommend going to ieslibrary.com and browsing their selection. Once you find one that you like, you can download the IES file and save it to a folder of your choice. Now it's time to open up Blender. Make sure that you are switched over to rendering in cycles for your project, as IES files don't work in Eevee yet. To use the IES file that you have downloaded, add a point light to your scene. In the Object Data Properties tab, click on the Use Nodes option for your light source. Now with your point light selected, go to the Shading tab. Press Shift A and add an IES texture node. Switch to the External option so that you can load in your IES file. Now open up the IES file you downloaded and connect the factor output of your IES texture node into the strength input of the emission node on your point light source. Now if you create some geometry or add some volumetrics in your scene and go into rendered view with your new light source selected, you'll notice that the light source will mimic the pattern shown on the image preview of the IES file that you have selected. You can increase the luminosity of your light source in the strength setting of the IES texture node or the power setting on the light itself. And if you want to change the color of the light source, you can access the color wheel in the standard light setting parameters. Anyways guys, this is just one way you can create more interesting looking lighting in Blender using IES files. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what visual effects techniques you'd like to learn next on the channel, and I'll see you next time.